Hey guys, this is question MM132 of the Maths Methods Fortify Study Guide. We've got this application question. So we've got the population of possums in a particular location varies according to the function P of T equals 1600 plus 200 cos of pi T on 4. Awesome. So our population of possum varies according to this function, where P is the number of possums living in this area T months after the 1st of February 2016. Find the period, so part A, find the period and amplitude of the function P. So, we're looking for our period and amplitude. Let's start with our amplitude because I think that's the, the easier one. So, our amplitude is always just the number outside the front of our cos or sine or, yeah, cos or, cos or sine function there. So, amplitude is equal to 200. That's our first mark. So that's, that's, this should be a fairly straightforward question. Um, amplitude is 200 and that's the first mark. Next is period. So let's keep in mind that our period is equal to two pi over B, where B is our coefficient of X or T in this case. So what's our coefficient of T? It's everything that's out the front of the T, which is in this case, pi on four. So our B value is pi on four, which means that our period is equal to two pi over pi over 4, which gives us, this comes out the front, remember, so the, our little hack is that this, this number on the bottom multiplies by the top, so we get 8 pi over pi, which gives us 8. So our amplitude is 200, and our period is 8 months. This is our second mark here. Fantastic. Alright, I'm going to do B just over here, because I can fit it in. So B. <coughs> Find the maximum and minimum populations of possums in this area. So remember that this number here, this C value outside the the um, outside the front, it's normally on the end, but the, the front is fine as well. This is our midpoint. So our amplitude is added to our midpoint to find our maximum, and our amplitude is subtracted from our midpoint to find our minimum. So if we have a graph that looks like this, and this is our midpoint, and goes up like this, then our midpoint is here and our maximum is adding our amplitude and our minimum is minusing our or subtracting our amplitude. So our max is equal to 1600, our midpoint, plus 200, which is equal to 1800 possums. Remember possums in this case is our units, so don't forget those. Our minimum is just 1600 minus 200, according to this thing here which is 1,400 possums. That's it. So this is a, uh, a two mark question. First mark here, second mark here. Pretty straightforward with that one. Please let me know if you have any questions about it, um, but we're just gonna jump straight into part C. So part C asks us to find P of nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this function here, um, and I might even just get rid of this as well. <coughs> so, part C. Fantastic. Find P of 9 to the nearest whole number. So, P of 9. P of t equals 1600 plus 200 cos of pi t over 4, which means that P of 9 is the same as this, but with t replaced with a nine. So 1600 plus 200 cos of nine pi over four, because all we're doing is just replacing this T with a nine. 1600 plus 200 times cos of nine pi on four. Let's just very quickly check this out on the unit circle. Nine pi on four is the same as eight pi on four, which is just two pi. So just here plus pi on four, which is here. So not, cos of 9 pi on 4 is the same as cos of pi on 4, which is root 2 on 2. If you're not too familiar with this, again guys, just make sure you go back and, and check this out. Uh, this gives us 1600 plus 100 root 2. And we're looking for p of 9 to the nearest whole number. Um, and putting this in our calculator, we get 1741 point something. Uh, but we want it to the nearest whole number, so we're saying 17 four one possums, p of nine equals this. And you can also just put this in your calculator. So you can define 
p of t equals this as a function and then just type in p of nine and it'll give you this. This is just a one mark question, guys. That's your first mark there. Please don't forget your units. In this case, the units is possums. Just like we would never, just like we would never forget to write meters or meters squared or whatever, possums in this case is our unit, so don't forget to write that. <clears throat> awesome. So, um, part D. Part D talks about uh, in the six months following 1st of February, so from t equals zero to t equals six, what is the proportion of time when the population of possums in the area was less than p of nine? Give your answer in percentage form, correct of two decimal places. Fantastic. So, um, the best way to do this is to just look at the graph. So, I'm just going to write this out again. Sorry, I shouldn't have deleted that. So, 1600 plus 200 cos of pi t on four. What you want to do is actually uh, sketch this on your calculator, okay? Because that's just going to be the easiest way to, to figure out what's going on here. So, this graph looks something like I've got a midpoint of 1600. Maximum of 1800, minimum of 1400, as we worked out before. Uh, it's a cos graph, it's a positive cos graph, so it starts up here somewhere, and it goes something like this, like that. Uh, and our period is uh, eight months. So this is eight here, yeah, this is four. So P of nine was equal to 1741. We're trying to figure out the proportion of time when the population of possums in the area was less than that. So 1749 is like, uh, somewhere here, 1749, which means that we want all of this time under here. That's the proportion of time that we're looking for. So, um, basically what we get is we want to figure out at this point where it stops. And we're actually only looking for the point at six months as well, <clears throat> in, the first, in the six months following the 1st of Feb. So looking at our graph, this 1741 actually happens when t is equal to 1. Okay, so from here to here is one month to 1741. And um, the way that we know that is because if we kept on following this down here, right, p of 9, which is here, which is one month from the start, sorry, one month from the 8th, this is 1741, and this is the same point as this, which means from here to here is 1741, and from here to here is 1741, because these are symmetrical and the same distance apart. So we know that it's above 1741, so above P of 9, for one month at the start here. Everything else from 1 to 6 is below 1741, or below P of 9. Which means that out of the six months, there's one month that it's above, which means that it's below four five sixths of the time. Cool. And we're looking for this in a percentage form, correct to two decimal places, uh, and five over six is equal to 0 0.83, uh, which means 83.33% of the time it is below P of nine. Sweet. So we've got this graph from zero to six and we can see that from here, P of nine is the same as P of one because it's symmetrical. From this point to this point is one month, which means that everything after this to six is uh, below P of nine. So five out of the six, it's below, which is equal to 83.33% of the time. So, um, your first mark is here. We identify that it's above P of 9 for one month, and your second mark comes with the answer of 83.33%. Guys, that's it for this question. Please hit me up if you have any questions. I know that last part was a little confusing, um, but please just let me know if, you, uh, if you're having trouble with it. Other than that, guys, have an awesome day.